Hi guys, this is Johnny Hunkins here with Popular Hot Riding Magazine, and we are here with Edelbrock engineer and EFI technician Mark Hansowitz and our 1968 Nova project car. Now we have already installed the EFI system, the E Street EFI system, in our engine bay, and we are ready to start uh, programming it. Actually, we're not going to program it. This is going to program it. This is an Android wireless tablet, and it comes with the E Street unit. And Mark, tell us a little bit about this tablet and what it does and how it makes it easier for the guy. Well, the maps are, uh, base maps are preloaded into the tablet. So what you got to do after you have it installed on your system is go to the setup wizard and answer a couple of simple questions. First question would be how many cubic inches your engine is. So here we got a 400 cubic inch Chevy. Hit the check mark. And we got a race cam because our duration at 50 is greater than 230 degrees. Yes, it's 299, 319 at 50 on this cam. Okay. And this selection here, if we're running an MSD with multi spark, which we're not, we'd select that. So we have non multi spark inductive ignition. And here's the type of fuel system we're running. On this vehicle, we're running our sump at 60 PSI, which is a 600 max horsepower system. So you select that. Right here. And at this point, we'd turn on the ignition and it'll load the map. So, Johnny, we ought to turn on the key. Okay, let's go do that. Now the key is on, but the engine's off, and Mark is outside of the car under the hood with the tablet, and he's getting ready to tell the tablet to write the fuel map. Okay, so the key's on, and we have connectivity to the ECUs, you can see, because we've got a little green check mark on the engine up here. So now we just hit OK. Now it's loading the map all on its own and you can see that there is a green progress bar right there and when that's done you'll have a fuel map. Now that the base fuel map is loaded into ECM there's a couple more steps you have to go to before you fire it up. Mark tell us what's going on here. Well, the next option we have is to set a rev limiter so here we can set our rev limiter to 6200 or so for our 400 cubic inch engine. Hit OK and then at this point we get to start the engine up and um, bring it up to operating temperature. The idle procedure handled, now it's time to go out on the street and let the self-learning program take over. We're getting ready to take our first ride with our Edelbrock E Street unit and the tablet can actually come along with you for the ride. Now Edelbrock includes this handy mounting bracket which uh, comes with a suction cup and also a DC power supply so that you can hook right into your power supply in your car. and you'll have a choice of several screens that will allow you to see the engine parameters as it runs. Okay. The most important thing as we get running here is that our O2 set points are set in the area where we want it for best performance. So the motor like this, 13.5 Ford idle, 13.98 cruise, why don't we throw out about 12.59. If we get out on the highway later after it's learned a bit and we want to make some mileage, we can take this 1398 and get it up around 14.1 or so and really make some economy. So uh, let's uh, fire it up. So Mark, as you take this out on the road for the first time, what's the key? Do we have to drive it at different uh, loads and RPMs? Yeah, you want to kind of, you know, vary the throttle a little bit, giving it time to self-learn in each brake point. The brake points are vacuum and RPM, different vacuum and RPM brake points. Well, it's running really good right now. That base map must have come awfully close. 
And most of our base maps are pretty close. As you can see here when we're driving it on the e-tuner page, the uh, AFR, actual AFR is here and our set point is here. As long as the two of these are lined up, we know that we're pretty close. This number over here, AFR correction, is telling us how much it's actually corrected. As you can see it's making minute changes, maybe 3% here and there. Hey Mark, why don't you hit it really hard and show people what it'll do? Twin stripes, just like we like. You know, Mark, I think that second burnout was even a little bit better. And uh, is it getting better as it goes? Yeah, that's part of the self-learning. The more you drive it, the better it's going to run. So the more time we spend at full throttle, the more chances it's going to have to make the efficient. The power will just keep coming up. You know, completely outside of the power of this thing, it just really drives sweet. It's not bulky. It's not... Uh, doesn't need to be nursed a lot on the throttle. It's just uh, drives like any uh, production car would. Just get in it, fire it up, and drive it. Uh, nothing crazy. You can give this car to your wife to drive, and she wouldn't have any problem keeping it running. Woo! Well, we're here in the Edelbrock Skunk Works with Sean, who's working on these supercharger kits that you're going to see on the market very shortly. And uh, roughly the uh, mechanical equivalent of a 671 GMC blower, these things are nothing like that. They're actually packed full of the TVS rotor technology. Super duper efficient, uh, looking like it's going to be about 5 pounds of boost in the production kit. And uh, with the excellent efficiency of the TVS Eaton uh, rotors, uh, you're going to be looking at quite a lot of uh, power from that modest amount of boost. So you got the two choices here that they're going to be offering right off the bat, the polished and the cast. And we've actually seen one in the uh, satin black, which is absolutely yeah. gorgeous. It's... Uh, it's actually going to be the best looking of the lot. But, uh, yeah, so right here from the Edelbrock Skunk Works. Very cool. Yeah.